Hello, buddy. My name is Mr. Bonesy, and welcome back to the Boogeyman. Uh, the dog's on the menu. I complained about it before, but now he's here. I don't know what he does. I'm not sure if he's just here. I was hoping that he'll start barking wherever this is going to be like a thing, but he doesn't. He kind of just chills. If anything, you, my two only sentient friends, are actually enemies because you guys keep talking over the sounds of the Boogeyman attacking me. So, they're quite annoying, I would say. Um... This episode, we're going to be doing night five. I'm not sure how many nights there are, but there is a nightmare night. And uh, I'm assuming night five is the last night. But knowing all FNAF fan games, I know this ain't a fan game, but it's literally off of the FNAF. You know, oh, look, Fusion Z Gamer is there. I never noticed that book. And wait a minute, that's the shark that jump scared me several times in the first game. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my fucking god! And fuck that shark. Man, you know what? Coming over here was a bad decision. I'm getting bad flashbacks <laughs> for that shark. Um, I'm not sure if night five will be the last, because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a night six. Because that's usually how all these things do. And then there's gonna be a nightmare night. Which honestly, looking at the time of uh my schedule of days in October before Halloween, I, I'm running on a short leash. <laughs> I'm like having a few days left. I still gotta upload the last episode of the Slender Man the Arrival. Um and I got another game I wanted to- I got two games that I recorded or wanted to play that are Halloween related. That I want to upload, but like, ugh. So I might have double uploads, depends. I don't know. I also might not be talking as much in this, because this game requires a lot of concentration. So I might say something here and there, but I'm going to be mostly silent. Just trying to survive the night. So maybe it'll be cut down or edited. I don't know. I'll, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll leave it unedited my first attempt. And, or maybe I'll cut down to my first death and then the final time will be unedited. But here we are. <gasps> Shut. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Fuck! Fuck this game! I kinda wanna restart. That's death. What? The fuck was that? The battery sucks. I'm just gonna say it. The battery sucks. The flashlight dies way too quick, and then when you want to charge it, he instantly attacks you. Like, every time I charge a charge it, he attacks. And the animation for getting out of it takes so long. What the fuck? God, these crows suck. <laughs> fuck this game, man. Fucking dead ass! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Let me charge my battery! Oh my god! You can't say he splits it to two and then have like 30 of them attack me all at once! God damn, this is annoying as shit! <laughs> Fuck! It, it sucks because I clicked the button to get off of the battery and then he goes back to the battery. The dog team's barking even though I scare him off the bed, so like it makes me panic. Holy fuck, my strategy was to scare him twice and then charge. Oh my fucking god, hi. I ran out of battery, I'm dead. It's so dark, man. I don't want to hear your dumb ass tips, you fucking doll. Jesus Christ. It's the- oh my fucking god. Oh, it's not doing that! Jesus! Pissing me off! <laughs> Just kill me. Just kill me now. I fucking can't deal with it. I hate when things- Oh my god. The doll is annoying as shit too. Fuck the doll. Stop doing that! Oh, go kill yourself. I will destroy this game, boy. Stop, oh, dude. Night 5 might be the last night, dude. Pissing me off so bad. Fucking hell. I can't get past it. 
future Bonesy here. Um, I'm just gonna talk over my thoughts. Uh, this is indeed the last fucking video for Boogeyman 2. Uh, I can't, like, I barely beat this night alone. This night is really, really difficult. And it's kind of, like, unfair how difficult it is. And I think that's just because it's not really optimized. At least the batteries aren't. When you go and charge the batteries and you click the button immediately to click off of it, it just refreshes the page, I guess, on the batteries. And I hate him under the bed, honestly. That's a it's a big oversight, honestly, because it makes it to where you can't quickly just get on and get off. You're kind of stuck there, so you have to commit. And then he opens the things, and it's just it's very frustrating. And I wanted to like see how many more nights there are. So there's a sixth night, which was even more difficult. And I did in this video, I did look into it, but I did not beat it. And then there's a seventh night, which is Halloween night, and then there's Nightmare Night. So if this is really difficult, I can't even imagine how difficult Halloween or the sixth night really is. Because, like, I could barely beat this, and I think it's only because of just finding that gap of charging the batteries. That's the only real hard thing to juggle. Because he just has no... he has no, um, strategy. Like, I... I in this clip... I was counting the three each time. So like each time I scared him off, I went one, two, and three in my head. And then if he attacked me on three or during that time, I would scare him off. But if there was nothing, I went to charge the batteries for like one bar. But even still, he's kind of like, that strategy wasn't even perfect because it failed half the time. Um, the video might be shorter than 17 minutes. I'm still editing. I'm just doing this uh, voiceover part for this completion. But the video in total is 34 minutes long so hope you enjoyed that rage compilation of me failing night five over and over and over again because this is just really difficult and i can't see myself like doing the other nights i don't know why the people who makes these games decided to put like eight whole nights and like these games because it's i think even from frosty nights i thought that was still too much because i think after christmas there was still a nightmare night and christmas day was on this like the seventh night so it was like another eight today it's just it's very long and stuff it's, it's stuff i can't even speak i'm still recovering from recording this honestly um gotta say my major complaint other than the batteries is and i think i said it in my rage compilation but i'll just reinstate the dog barks even though he can't scare off the boogeyman from the floor uh, under your bed and honestly, I prefer the first game because he made the boogeyman just made a sound, and when he did, you scared him off immediately. It wasn't like he had to wait until he saw his face or hand. So, once again, the, uh, it shows. I think it goes to show that they put more love and care in the first game, especially since that first game got like a lot more updates after the release, and they even added like a free room where you can explore around the house. I wasn't a big fan of that, but I, I appreciated it. It was a thing that you could do. So, like, I think it was pretty obvious the tell that this game was abandoned and then the first game was more cherished um even the boogeyman designs i think are better than the first game another issue is that sound effects are like kind of delayed like sometimes the closet opens like it'll make the sound of the closet opening but you can't scare him off either or like it'll be making the sound but like he's not there and i think i even came across where i scared him off but the sound was playing over it so like as i scared him off the closet technically was still opening it's a very weird like sound issue there's a lot of like weird bugs like that that can ruin this type of game like if this was something else i wouldn't even bat an eye but since you need the sound to survive oh, it's really tedious and annoying to have to deal with it i would have to say another glaring issue is just the time here like you can't even see that clock in the first game you could see the clock all the time but you can't so it's actually really hard to tell what time it is especially since you're constantly moving and i was thinking in my first edit video i was editing the part one i was like oh i'm stuck i'm dumb because literally when i'm charging the battery you could see the time rather than me just saying that like whatever i was saying back then but the time thing just turns off at some point and it gets way too dark in this map like you can't see anything it gets really dark especially since the only light source of the boogeyman is his eyes and i'm gonna be honest his eyes are not the best light source like i don't really notice it sometimes especially from that doorway like that doorway all the way back there i can't see his eyes it, like i have to flash it so like everything else being open like the window or the vent I literally just restarted, but like, I, depending on how chaotic it gets.
because it's just like sometimes his eyes are just like not really noticeable like the claws or the vent I'm not even sure how he gets out of the vent. I just noticed that he's just standing in my face as soon as I, like, look over there when it's open. So it's just unfair, I would say. Like, this game is really, really difficult. And, and another issue with this battery system, they should have just made it to where it was like the first game, where you looked under the bed, grabbed a battery, and even though it was random chance of how much good battery you got, at least it, it's like you don't have to constantly keep doing it because if you get a good battery you could not go under the bed for a while but the battery dies way too fast what? in this and it just Doors makes open. it un godly f unfair to beat it anyways the night's about to end hope you enjoyed my ramblings uh, and let present me take it away and you can see that night six and see how even more unfair it is and um hope you guys enjoy the video yeah yes Oh my god, that took way too long. That fucking sucked. They're bad. That better be the last night, and then it's a nightmare night, because I don't know how there would be a night. Fuck, night six. Actually, night six might be easier. Depends. How, how bright is that? I died immediately. <laughs> Fuck night six, dude. Fuck night six. <laughs> Holy shit. So he attacks from this window. This tent. Okay, okay. So my understanding... Oh, look, it's all covered blood because I died. My understanding is that... Fucking... Every possible... That bitch, I wouldn't be surprised if you came for these fucking drawers. I don't know what happened to me there. Holy hell, or like these closets, honestly. Okay, um, how long have been, I don't know how long I've been recording. You can throw it up on the screen because I can't see OBS right now. I'm done. <laughs> Ooh. Sometimes I will be willing to tough things out if I think they're doable or like, I'll just be like, okay, I can do this, right? Or like, I may not be able to do it, but I'll be willing to throw in like countless minutes or countless hours trying to do it. This is not one of those games I want to do that for. That's too hard. That's literally too difficult. This is now a new area he can attack from, which is not cool because he's already attacks from here. There's like literally, t and uh, there's no lights. <laughs> I guess now that on six night, it's like snowstorm. Which I never had Halloween on snow. I, I guess it's a thunderstorm, but it looked like snow. So I guess the room is kind of lit up through the windows, but that's so unforgiving. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, technically, because he comes from up and down. Seven, I guess eight, because he goes from left or right, and nine places he can attack you from. And that's the sixth night, and there's a nightmare night. This is not even a thing. Why is the dog sniffing at it? Dog, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't know. That's going to be the last of Boogeyman 2. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> That's too difficult. Like, I, I maybe someday in the future, but that, no, nah, I'm not going to be the one to do it. That's too hard, in my opinion. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry I couldn't beat. At least I beat night five. <laughs> I did, like, the typical five nights. Six night is too difficult. And I'm guessing there might be a night seven and nightmare night. I'm going to have to Google it myself. If there's a night seven, I'm going to be fucking shocked. <laughs> but um, yeah, and if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!